Hey guys, hopefully my mic is fixed. <clears throat> um, I wasn't going to record this, but... Oh, I guess I changed my mind. I'm about to enter the trailer park where I was, well, not technically brought home from the hospital, but grew up for like two or three years, right in there. This is where I got my very first uh, mini bike. I can show you the ditch I was talking about in that story if you ever, or if you know what I'm talking about. And it's right up ahead of us actually. There it is. Before I go in there, I'm going to reminisce on this field real quick. Uh, this field right in front of us is where I learned to ride. Where I'd sit up on the tank of my little uh, Honda 50cc custom built bike that I got for my first birthday. We rode around in there. And that's the ditch. Over there used to be a cotton field. That's the ditch my bike got stuck in. Can't believe it's still here. And there's where I used to live. Haven't been in there in um, 10, 11 years. Let me just say it was a lot nicer. Now I think we lived that way, but I'm gonna go straight to It's got pretty ghetto. This is where I learned to ride my first bike. Like, uh, as in pedal bike. Where my dad let go. You know where they push you behind. Or, you know, they, you sit on the bike and they push you and then they let go of the seat without telling you and then you look back and you fall. That's what happened to me. Yep. Right up here. I wonder if it's still there. This little beauty on the corner. Ooh, a Mustang. That house right there. Ooh, the shed's even there. I used to have a sandbox in that backyard. And I had a little log cabin on the porch. That's where I learned to swim. Learned to swim in that deep end. I don't know, it's a it's a little ghetto. It's not that not that bad. Wow, a pink Harley. Pretty awesome though. It's got little spider webs on it. Uh, I only had one friend in this neighborhood. Uh, I don't remember his name. I've only been in one of these other trailers. But this is where I'd sit in you know, on my mom's bed playing um, Sonic on Sega and Super Nintendo. Here was our mailboxes. There's a cat sleeping by the pool. That's where I learned to swim. Found a geode out here. Now it's... It smells like weed. 
Hey, little dogs. Uh, ooh, we're going that way. A lot of bikes here, yeah. Quads. I'm straight up trailer park, yo. A little too pity. Nice. Oh man. This was my life. This is where I started. I don't know how to describe, how to describe, uh, it's not, it's not closure or anything weird like that, it's more like, kind of, it's like, I don't know, it's getting, it's getting weird and emotional guys, I'm sorry, you can leave if you want, but it might just get worse here, but, um, it's like reconnecting with yourself basically. And I know that's some crazy ass hippie shit, but I feel so calm here. Very peaceful. Even that it's all kind of jacked. Hi, hey, little dog. Well, if those guys weren't standing out front of my house, I would hang out a little bit more. But I'm gonna do one more pass by. Oh shit. There's my fucking pipes on that monster of a speed bump. I think this is the road I better to ride my bike on. I fell over and hurt myself right here. Fucking speed bumps are huge. And that was my house. It's my dad had the Camaro. I had a <laughs> had a little carrot farm in that garage. In the back. Wow. And my dad would ride me down on my little mini bike right here. I'd be all excited. Go right here, right off into that field. And where that Mustang's driving through the, the dirt right there, that little field was my world. Hmm. Well, I'm glad you guys got to share that with me.